Hello and welcome to episode number 11. I'm your host, Free Snack, and it's been a while. It's been a long while since I've actually done my last podcast, and um, there is a reason for that, so don't worry. Um, first of all, I want to say it's, I couldn't find my SD card at first. Um, still can't find it. Uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to notice that I am recording, obviously. Um, it's because I have an extra SD card and I use that uh, to basically record everything else now. And it's kind of upsetting because I had a other SD card and I wanted to fill that one up before I actually started my new one. But hey, things happen and you gotta do what you can. Um, but the reason why I was not uh, filming my podcast for a while or uploading videos on YouTube is because I had to focus on my grades. And I know that's a weird thing to say, um, but I actually had to focus on my grade. I had an F in math since the beginning of the semester. I kept failing my tests and I was like, you know what? I need to just focus and pass my classes because I did not want to retake it and then have my plan get like boosted back or anything. I was like, you know what? I got to do it now because I really don't want to retake another math class. I don't want to take general retake any general ed classes, and I don't want to retake any of my major classes. So I legit focused on my grades, and I'm glad I did that because I passed my classes. I passed all of my classes, which is pretty cool. So with math, I had an F, right? And the whole time, I was working on it, and I got 100% on one of my tests, and that was really awesome and pretty cool. And I ended up passing the class with a C. And it's not a low C. It wasn't a high C. It was a, like a C. It was 75%, like an exact C. So I'm really, really happy about that. And I just... uh wanted to let you guys know that's why I was gone. I was focusing on my grades and then I started working as a referee and we'll get into that more later in this podcast but that's my main topic of this because <laughs> I have a lot of stories but uh yeah so that's my main reason I just want to remind you guys that um this podcast is on Spotify the main uh po- that's the well that's what mainly people listen to my podcast which is Spotify so if you're on the go you won't forget to listen. Um, we also have Apple Podcasts and several others that I don't feel like naming. But uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure because right now I'm trying to upload my video and today is the 21st. Um, so I'm trying to get this video out today, but uh, for some reason YouTube's being really, really slow with uh, the freaking upload and right now it's at six percent earlier today it was at two percent since yesterday and i don't know why and it's pretty frustrating it's a 12 minute video that i'm putting out for today it's called my life don't make sense and it doesn't and neither does that title but you know what if it works it works um so yeah that's basically my conundrum right now I guess you can say uh so I don't know if this uh video format of the podcast will be out on time but for sure I know the audio will be out today before five o'clock for sure (laughs) hopefully if not then it's just gonna be all out on Sunday but uh, the thing is what I wanted to do is put all the videos out today um the 21st so it'll be like oh like a really little christmas gift for you guys but it's not working out <laughs> and that's how my life goes all the time it doesn't work out so that's why for sure when i was focusing on my grades doing my work and focusing on that i had to do it because my life doesn't really work out the way i want it to so it's like okay i gotta do all one thing before i get distracted for other things but yeah so don't forget also on spotify and Apple Podcast, and if you're listening from there, that's pretty awesome. Um, so I wanted to get into the refereeing, but I want to talk about other things before I get into it. Um, so basically, it's Christmas time. Obviously, it's December. Actually, it's I guess like four days till I don't I don't even know how to count honestly. No, I barely passed math. <laughs> but um, 
The 24th is when we do our little Christmas thing, and usually the 25th is when I go to my parents and we do whatever. Usually I don't do anything. The 25th is my sister's birthday. Sometimes she doesn't really do anything for her birthday. Um, but uh, we are doing something completely different. So we're doing like a like a Secret Santa gift exchange thing. The limit is 40 bucks, and my Secret Santa, I don't think they're going to like that I'm their Secret Santa. Um, but I think they're gonna like what I got for them because, um, I really thought about what uh, I was gonna give to them. And I don't know if my friends, are you if you're listening to this, I don't know if I'm willing to be able to give you guys gifts for this Christmas. Um, and I feel bad about it, but, you know, I, I spent a lot of money <laughs> already. And I don't know if the money from refereeing is gonna come in in time. Um, because things with the schools, sometimes they take forever to pay, and some schools are doing really good, sometimes they pay me before I even go, and I'm like, do I even have to rev? And I'm like, yeah, I still, I still go and rev, because that's what they pay me to do. But, yeah, so, um, that limit was 40 bucks for this, the Secret Santa, and, um, for the White Elephant, I spent around 40 bucks too, and it was this, uh, massager thing. Um, don't worry, the white elephant thing already happened. It was at my uncle's. It was the same day I also went to my friend's house to paint a painting. And I actually grabbed it over here to show you guys on <clears throat> YouTube. But, um, it, for the white elephant, I got, like, this massage thing. And it's like a, you can take it on the go. And it massages your, your upper back, your lower back, your thighs, anything you really wanted to massage. And... I actually wanted that gift for myself, and I was going to steal it from the lady that got it. But then I was like, nah, I better not. Like, she really likes it, and and I don't feel like taking back a gift that I gave since everyone found out that I put it in a big old box. But uh, I got a Yeti, so this Yeti is different than the other Yeti I have. Um, the other one I use for water, this one I can use for my hot chocolate. And it's like a, it looks like a, like a coffee cup kind of thing but it's pretty big and I think I, I got a good gift um so yeah I'm probably gonna change the lid on it because the lid looks like it, it I want I want to where like it closes so the the hotness can stay in but uh other than that I really like the gift honestly because it's a, especially since I'm gonna go work up in mountains um my aunt convinced me to keep it because <laughs> she's like oh you're gonna be working up in mountains and you're gonna get cold and you can just drink like a hot drink in it and I was like, you're right. And it's pretty crazy because the only reason I got my other Yeti for water is because my other aunt was like, ooh, you should get that because it's big and you're going to need it when you're, like, working and you're going to need to hydrate. And I'm like, ooh, smart thinking, <laughs> honestly. Um, but, yeah, though, I don't drink coffee, so I'm probably only going to put hot chocolate in it because I love hot chocolate. Um... So, yeah, that's what I got from the White Elephant. Uh, another thing, a Christmas thing I did was uh, I went to this thing called Christmas Tree Lane. And it was fun. I went with um, my friend, uh, MJ, uh, Anae, and then uh, Marie. And, like, uh, <laughs> it was so, it was it was really fun, honestly. Um, walking over there, we were just chill, you know, just, like, relax. And then, like, we were tired. Uh, I was tired. <laughs> and... On the way back, it looked like I was, like, not sober, but I was. There was a car that did say, don't do drugs, kids, for this will happen. And I swear, I was sober. <laughs> I was doing cartwheels. I was doing parkour. I was doing all kinds of crazy things, but it was fun. I really had a good time. And especially at um, my friend's mom's uh, painting thing. So basically, it was her birthday. And uh, it's my same friends, MJ and me. It was their mom. Um... So basically, you go and you have this, like, canvas up. Um, I went a little late because I um, had a ref a tournament. After the tournament, I went over. And after um, we finished painting, I went to my uncle's for the white elephant. And after that, I went back to hang out. And we played, like, board games and stuff. Um, but anyways, so, like, we basically painted, like, it was, like, a sunset with trees and, like, over the water and stuff. I think mine pretty, came out pretty good. I really like how mine came out. Honestly, um, I try to make a, <laughs> for some reason, I was like, ooh, maybe I should try to make a flowering ash tree. And uh, it didn't work out <laughs> the way I wanted it. But I was like, oh, oh well, I the thought counts, you know. Um, so, yeah, it was it was a pretty fun time. Um, today's the 21st, so 
I don't think I'm going to be doing anything till the 24th. Hopefully I do something and hang out with my friends or something. Um, the 24th is when we all do our Christmas things, like I said earlier. And it's going to be a, a crazy time. I, there's already a lot of gifts. Because yesterday, uh, when I came back from refing at Kingsburg uh, High School, uh, shout out to the JV girls because my friend is the assistant coach for that. I didn't know until I arrived. And she was like, shout us out. I was like, uh, fine. <laughs> but um, I was over there refing And I came home. And they're still wrapping gifts. And they said they started way earlier. So probably, like... After I left, which was around like mm, th 3.30, I believe, because I had to get to the school at 4.30 because the game was at 4. I had to get to the school before 4.30 because the game starts at 4.30. I had to be like at 4, 30 minutes early. I want to be on time. Um, unfortunately, my partner wasn't on time, and we didn't get to start on time because he didn't arrive on time. But that's okay. It happens, you know. He said that something had came up, and I was like, alright, it's fine. Um, I just did not want to wrap the game alone. Um, so yeah, I came back and they were still wrapping, um, gifts. And, um, after everyone was done wrapping gifts, uh, I looked under the tree and I was like, full of gifts. Nobody, um, uh, my cousin was putting them around the tree. And he's like, oh, I didn't put them behind the tree. And then my aunt was like, good, because I hate reaching for those. Those are hard to grab. But there's so much presence, like... It's crazy, and my grandma. I just, this is like a random thing. Um, she won a lot of money at a casino, and they gave her like a big old check, and she used that money to buy an eighty-two inch TV. And I was like, dude, that's crazy! Like, it's so crazy. All these good things are happening to my family, and it's it makes me happy because it's like the holiday season, and usually the holiday seasons are like whatever for me. I don't know, for some reason this time, I'm, I'm kind of happy that all these things are happening. And, like, I, I'm getting paid kind of on time. <laughs> so I, I bought my Secret Santa gifts. I did the White Elephant. And I don't know if any of my friends are doing anything. Usually I buy just, I just buy them gifts. Um, because I, I, I don't know, I just, I just do it. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it uh, this year unless I go to this, um... Unless I go to the store before the 24th. But I don't know if I am. Because I'm trying to figure everything out for my future and everything still too. Like, I have so many things on my mind. Like, I'm, I'm actually making t-shirts right now. Um, I just, I believe I finished the design. I'm not going to show you guys the design yet. Because I, I want it to be a surprise. But uh, I'm, like, scared to, like, start doing it. Because I feel like I'll mess up. And then, like... I don't, I don't, I don't like messing things up, but, uh, yeah, so I, I bought the things to make the t-shirts, and my friends in the band, uh, it's called Artesia, they, they're already making t-shirts, like, they, they're, like, already ahead of the game, like, they're making a lot of t-shirts, and it's pretty cool, um, I just gotta finish my design, I have a simple design that I want to give out first, and then, like, I want to start doing the harder designs, because I'm trying to figure out how, like, the process works still and I don't know I just don't really want to mess up but there is this other thing where I can print it off my what well, I can print that one off my my printer too but there's this one where I could print photos off of it and I'm trying to master that and for my secret Santa they're gonna get a photo printed off but I'm still trying to figure out what photo like I don't want to be like oh I just throw this one or just take a picture of me um because my aunt already said that if I was her secret Santa and she got a a shirt with a picture of me she would throw it away or burn it so um hopefully i figure out a cool photo that means a lot to my secret santa so it's on a shirt and they like it but um besides christmas i do want to get into refing and as i said i was refing at kingsburg usually they give us like waters gatorades and stuff but this time they didn't and i i kind of I was a little hurt by it because that's what I look forward to when I go back to Kingsburg. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's the holiday season and we're supposed to be full of joy and stuff. But um, uh, I just want to say about the game. It was pretty fun. Um, my friend was recording me, which I kept like sh shielding my face. <laughs> and the girls, the JB girls, she kept telling them, oh, uh, she has a podcast and she has a, cha a YouTube channel. It's Fruit Snacks um and uh they basically subscribe like 
two of them subscribed and I was like oh cool nice shout out to you and um, they were all trying to figure out my name and then my friend was telling them my name and I'm like right now on this field my name is Ref I told that to one of the girls because she's like I see you all the time what's your name and I was like my name is Ref and then I was like I don't know if I want to be Ref 1 or Ref 2 but right now I'm just Ref <laughs> she said Ref 2 because she's number 2 but that was pretty cool pretty clever I give that to her um there's the thing that I love most about refing is especially especially that day which was yesterday <laughs> is that um we get to enjoy the game and have fun like just like mess around and and talk but like actually like play the game you know um so like for example like on the varsity game I was on the fellow side and the coaches were like oh, so did you put a request to come on our side? And we're, like, all making jokes. And I was like, hey, you guys still don't have a heater? I should have been on Kingsburg's side. They got a heater over there. And they're like, what? Really? They do? And then um, the goalie kept blocking uh, the Fowler's uh, girls' shots. And they're like, dang, the goalie must be, like, six foot or something. And then they're like, well, at least our ref is not, like, six foot. And I was like, shoot, I wish I was six foot. And I was like, they're just basically, we're just joking around and, like, having a good time. And, honestly, uh, Fowler thought they were going to get green because they, I believe the coach said that they lost last time to them, 7-0. And Kingsburg probably thought they were going to cream them or something. I don't know, but all I know for sure is that the score was 1-0, Kingsburg won by one. And it was a pretty good game, honestly. I loved <laughs> both teams. They're pretty awesome. Um, Kingsburg... A uh, girl, uh, <laughs> uh, my friend's sister, she was like, uh, she's on the um, Kingsburg team for varsity, and she was like, on this side of me, and I was like, oh, no, no, that side of me. And she's like, right here? She was right next to me, and I'm like, back up a little bit more. And she's like, okay. She was like trying to like go further up, but I thought that was funny. Um, but then again, like with refing, not all the games are like that, like where we all can have a good time, like be serious in the game and like even like take take a laugh and enjoy it you know have a great time playing because for example um i don't want to name the school because it has a lot of controversy with people of color um for some reason i just looked it up before i went just to make sure where the field was and on youtube it showed like something going on and i was like oh shoot i'm scared but uh I, I i was like uh it's nothing nothing about it like i'm not gonna judge the school off of it um, I never been to this school. My friend um, used to go to that school, I believe. Uh, well, she went to one of those schools. It's like a town. It has like all kinds of different schools with the same town, but like it was like north, east, west. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I went to one of them, and um, I don't know for some reason. I, I I talked to the girls. I talked to the captains. I'm like, hey. How's it going? Can you guys introduce yourselves to each other? And then they do the little handshake. I'm like, all right, girls, we're here to play soccer, right? We're not here to wrestle each other. We're not here to box each other. We're here to play a good game of soccer. So you guys are the captains. You, I, I did it backwards. Basically, basically, you guys are the captains. You have one job, which is means you're responsible for your teammates. You know who your heads are. Get to them before I get to them. Because once they start begging me for a card, I'm going to throw them a card. And once I throw a card... I'm not going to take anything from anyone anymore. It's all seriousness. Now I'm going to be throwing it like rain. Like I'm making rain. Um, and then they're like, oh, okay, okay. Um, and then I'm like, so yeah, let's just have fun. We can gossip. We can do whatever. But let's just be sure to play an actual game of soccer. And then they're laughing. And I'm like, okay, we're not going to be that bad of a game. Um, so I was like, okay, this is going to be a pretty cool game. It was a uh, different school versus a different school. I'm not going to name names. I was about to <laughs> stop myself. Uh, but the thing is, um, the I don't know, one of the captains kept, like, doing something. Like, I couldn't tell what it was at first. And then she's, she's like, doing this, like, like, going for the player, not the ball. So there's a thing where, like, in the laws of the rules, the laws of the game, um, people call them the rules of the game, but it's the laws of the game where you can't use a player as an obstacle. You have to use, you you basically have to use the ball. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, like, you can't use a player as an obstacle. 
but you have to play the basically you have to play the ball, not the player. That's how I look at it. Um, that's how I see it as how it goes. So basically, the team um, that I went to, not the visiting team, the team that I went to that has a lot of controversies and stuff. Um, they were playing the player, and I'm like, why do you keep hitting them from behind? Why do you keep pulling their shirts slightly and, like, hitting them with your hips? Like, I see what you're doing, so I'm calling it. So I start calling every little thing because they keep doing it more and more, and I'm like, why do you guys keep doing this? And, uh, one of the girls I had to talk to, and I was like, it was one of the captains, and I was like, hey, like, can you, like, stop? Like, let's, like, calm down and play the ball. And she's like, okay, okay, whatever, whatever, let's just play, let's just play. And I'm like, okay, rude. But I'm going to let it slide because I'm in a good mood. So I, um, let the other team kick the ball because they called the foul. And then they kept doing this little thing. So I kept calling it. And when I called it, all of the the home team <laughs> didn't say which school. Like, oh, dang it. I have to cut that out. Sorry, guys. I cycled them and said the school. So I'm going to cut that little part out. You don't know what I said, but I just said it on accident. Just so you know. That's why I keep messing up. <laughs> so basically, the home school... Uh, was pretty rude. I'm like, okay. So when I called the foul, like from them pushing from behind, all of the homeschool got upset. They're like, oh come on, like that was nothing. I'm like, well why'd you do it? It was something, and you did it. I'm like, but we're still playing. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's not fair for the other team. So I'm gonna call that foul because you literally prevented the girl from playing it forward. And you took the ball away from doing that foul you committed. Like, it was, it was like, I was like, okay, whatever. So, um, they kept doing it. And I'm like, all right. So, uh, one of the girls, I called another foul. It was closer to the goal. And one of the girls from the other team, the visiting team, comes up to me and says, hey, one of the girls cussed at me. And I'm like, oh, heck no. There is no cussing on this field at all. Even if I don't like cussing, you're not allowed to cuss on the field at all. You're not, if you're cussing at a player automatic red card and especially if you cuss at a ref automatic red card but um Adam was like okay who what number was it and then the same captain I told you earlier was like oh no let's not let's not be little tata tellers why are you telling stop telling we're not in seventh grade I'm like okay you're really pissing me off anyways I went to the girl and I was like okay do you know what number it was and she said no I don't I was like all right and then all of them like lined up in front of me like I think they were the captains or something but all the girls like from the home team lined up in front of me and were like like oh but nobody nobody over here cussed nobody here cussed I'm like okay all right I didn't hear anyone cuss but the next time I hear somebody cuss that's it like, we're not, no one here needs to cuss. I'm like, okay, okay, let's just play, let's just play. I'm like, why do you keep saying that? Stop, let me talk. I'm in charge of the game. You're not. You're playing the game. Anyways, so I was like, okay, next time I cuss, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk to you. I'm just gonna give you a card. And then they're like, okay, okay, we're, we won't cuss. And I'm like, all right. So then the girl kicks it, it went, it went out, so it's a girl kick. And that same captain was like, Oh my gosh, they're over here acting like effing uh, seventh graders. And I'm like, oh my gosh, really? So I blow my whistle, I go up to her, I'm like, what did I just say? I just said no cussing. She's like, but I was talking to my teammate. I wasn't saying it to anybody, I was talking to my teammate. And I'm like, okay, but you still cuss. I said no cussing at all. And she's like, but I wasn't cussing. I was like, oh, now you're saying you're not cussing after you said you were talking to your teammate. So obviously you did cuss. Now you're just trying to avoid it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give you yellow. So I gave her a yellow. And then she was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even kiss me. I didn't kiss me. And her coach yelled at her like, get off the field. And I was like, and I, that's when I pointed. I was like, go. And then she walked off. And then that's when the home team started actually playing real soccer. They weren't going for the player. They were actually going for the ball. And I was like, dude, I told them, I warned them, I'm done with it. Like, I don't know why they were questioning my authority. And it's like, oh my goodness, like, come on. <laughs> like, I'm good. I, I can tell you why you got the foul. I can tell you why I didn't call this and that. And I can, like, I can communicate with you. But if you're going to act like that, I'm not going to deal with you. I'm just going to give you a card and get you out of here. And the same thing in a tournament. This one girl from another team, um... I guess another rich girl, you can say. Uh, <laughs> same thing. She was. She started calling because oh, one of her teammates was down, and I was trying to talk to her. But the girls were trying. I'm like, "Can you girls back up?" But they wouldn't listen. 
So then the girl started calling her coach over. I'm like, hey. And that's when I, like, stepped in. And I was like, hey. I was asking your teammate if she was okay. But she didn't say anything. So I was about to call your coach over. But you don't have the authority to call your coach onto the field. I do. And she was like, but that's my teammate. That's my teammate. You weren't going to do it. And I was like, I was going to do it. But the thing is, I have to see if she's okay and willing to walk off the field. And you don't have the authority to. And she kept arguing with me. I'm like, okay. I was like, you're really asking me for a yellow card right now. Do you want to leave the field? And her teammate was like, dude, just, just be quiet. Just just don't do it again, okay? And I was like, that's what I'm saying. You don't have the authority. So next time, don't do that. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Like, come on. But, hey, you know what, it's, it's, you either get those frustrating players, frustrating coaches, frustrating fans, or you get the cool ones, and so far, I love that I ended my weekend, I mean my week, with a cool team, both cool teams, and I had a good laugh, I had a fun time, it was great, but it's just like, it's those kids that think they're in charge, it's just like, no, and it's, I don't want to be like, oh, it's these kids because they're this color and this and that. No, it's just like my friend said that it's because I asked. I don't I don't want to seem like I'm being a racist, but why is it always these type of people? And then she said it's because they feel they're entitled and they are from those. Those are rich schools. So that's why And I'm like, oh, OK, it makes sense because they have everything and they feel like they can control everything when they cannot. And sometimes they need that that card to be shown for them to listen and it's funny because for me I just like I just want to talk to them I don't want to talk to the coaches I don't want to talk to the players I'm like okay let's figure what's happening right here I don't want anyone to be upset on the field I know I can't control when they are because you know the other team probably is like winning and it's really upsetting I know how that feels because I was a soccer player like I know and like sometimes refs make mistakes I made mistakes as a ref, and I fixed them, and sometimes I'm just like, no, this is what I saw, so I'm going with what I saw, because some coaches are like, no, but this is what I saw, I'm like, yeah, but that's what, this is what I saw, so there's some coaches that I, I, I sent in one of these games, and there's this one coach was yelling, yelling, I'm like, I'm done with this yelling, so I wanted to go talk to him, explain why I caught that and why I'm doing what I'm doing and he, I go over to him he's like no, no no I don't want to talk to you I don't want to have a conversation I'm like all right I'll just show you a yellow card because you're being very disrespectful to me and my my ARs and I was like gonna pull out the yellow and look at him he's like what 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 why are you why are you gonna do that I'm like because I want to come over here talk to you explain but you're really really asking for a yellow card right now and I don't want to give it to you and he's like, oh, and then he started wanting me to talk because he knew I was going to pull it out. I'm like, don't mess with me. I know I look young. I know I'm short. <laughs> I know you think I can be taken advantage of, but I'm not here to mess around. Once I'm serious and I pull out that card, I'm not going to mess with, like, I'm not dealing with anything else. Because it's like, it gets me to a point because I'm, I'm cool. I go into the game happy. I don't care if I ref you before or not. I go into it happy. I, I make some jokes. Um talk to the captains I'm like hey you're responsible we got one job one job like this 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 is all you got and like we i go in like the girl's like oh they're not gonna call anything and i go up to her i'm like this is why i didn't call it and like oh okay that makes sense and it's like because some girls think they know everything all the laws of the game but they really don't and it's it's and you can tell it's their coach that thinks they know all the laws of the game but they don't the thing is, rules change, things happen, and it's all de dependent on the referee's judgment and what they actually see on the field. And it's interesting, interesting. But uh, honestly, uh, there are some schools that I do ref, and we have a good time. We have a great time, and it, it makes my job really, really, really ha fun. Honestly, like I go in, and when there's a uh, when there's a coach yapping at me or players, I'm like, uh-uh, I, I don't have to deal with this. I don't get paid enough to deal with this. Even if I did get paid enough, I still am a human being. I have feelings, and I don't need to take any of this crap from any of you. And then, like, I don't know. It's like some coaches, some players don't listen until they get a card shown. And then they're like, oh, okay. They will actually do what they need to do. I don't know, it's, it's kind of confusing, but I just want to talk about just a little bit about uh, refing. And honestly, um, it's 
I think it's time to end this episode. I have a lot more stories of refing because there's a lot of crazy people out there. And it's funny because uh, in my other line of job, um, I want to work up in the mountains and stuff. And you have a lot of ignorant people up there too. So it's just like, ugh. so I'm trying to work in the back country where I hardly see anybody. <laughs> so hopefully this works out and I get the job I want for this summer. Uh, but besides that, I... Um, yeah, I just want I just wanted to say all the refing stories, but I only got to do it in the dark time up. But also, my video that is uploading still is barely at seven percent. How can that be? Like honestly, like all I gotta do for this one is edit the audio, the part where I accidentally said the school name that I didn't want to say. Um, but it's okay. Like I can just clip that out and then. Um, put in the rest but if this this video is like 30 minutes long and this one's only 12 and it's taking forever for it to upload so I don't think the the YouTube video will go up but the audio on Spotify and everything else will be up because that one doesn't take as long as YouTube for some reason I don't even know why YouTube's taking this long honestly I upload up, updated my laptop and everything's everywhere honestly like wait uh, the thing that I used to record my audio, um, it's, I, it, ha it said that I have to re-download and whatever. I'm like, really? Like, why is everything everywhere? Like, all my stuff, like, like, is, I don't even know where all my notes went. Like, it's, it's so frustrating that everything just went completely out of everywhere. Like, I had to re-put in my emails for my, to receive my emails. Like, I don't even know why all of this happened. But, uh, it, it's fine. I mean, Excuse me, it's not like the end of my life, but it's just like I don't know why YouTube is like taking forever for it's up. It's just 12 minutes. Like, wow, imagine this one. This one probably like take four days. But even if this doesn't get to upload on time, just know that it will be up. The audio version will be up today for sure. Um, before five o'clock, I know for sure now because <laughs> I'm already I talk so much. Um, but yeah, so soccer. I love refing it, but it's just those those people that tick me off are just like, why? Like, I'm trying to have a conversation. I'm trying to, like, make sure you stay in the game. Like, I always tell the parents and stuff, it's a privilege for you to watch your children play. It's a privilege for your children to play. It's a privilege for the coach to coach the game. Because I can kick any of you out anytime when is needed. Because ah, it's so frustrating when you get those parents that say oh my gosh you're so blind or like this and that and it's like dude i don't need that i don't need that do you talk to your kids like this like you're acting like a four-year-old that got his toy taken away from his parent like why are you acting like children when you're a grown adult with children like it doesn't make any sense but you know it just pisses me off but hey you know it's the way of the game and usually it's towards the end of the game and it's like two minutes left and like it's just like that's when i'm like okay i need to talk to you like no more but usually when I talk to the players, the coaches and all that, they, they like, oh, like, okay, okay, I get it. And it's just like, some of them are like, no, no, you're doing everything wrong. I'm like, come on, dude. I'm just a human trying to make money and live. And I'm in college, so I already have enough stress as it is. But anyways, um, shout out to those Kingsburg girls. And, um yeah <laughs> that's all i got for today so thank you for listening maybe you'll come back for more and if you do i'll be here maybe talking about something new but until then enjoy life